Welcome to the EMC Recover Point for Virtual Machines VMworld 2014 demo. In this video, we're going to show you first deploying a three tier application from the self service catalog. We're then going to look at how you create a consistency group and protect a virtual machine using Recover Point replication. And finally, we'll show you what it looks like to fail over to a DR site for a virtual machine. First, I'm going to click on the catalog here. And you'll notice one of my options is a three-tiered app. So I'll click Request. Next, we'll choose the multi-machine service here, which is a preset build of a few different application and web servers. You'll see that this is the multi-tier application, and I need to set a property for each of the different services. Click Submit. And now our request has been submitted. Once I'm in the Items tab, now I can see the virtual machines or apps that I've deployed. So now we'll go ahead and protect that application or those virtual machines that we just created. So we're here in the web client, and the first thing I'll do is choose my SQL Server VM and choose Protect. Next, we'll create a new consistency group. We'll call it Sales Portal App Consistency Group, and we'll choose the cluster that we're working with. Next, we'll configure a new target. So we're going to do asynchronous replication with an RPO of one second. Now we'll create the target virtual machine on our secondary, or DR cluster, which is in New York. Next, we'll select a data store to put that virtual machine on. And then finally, we'll allow it to automatically choose where to put the journal for Recover Point. That's it. We'll click Next, and then Finish once all that looks good. Now that Consistency Group has been created, we're going to go ahead and check the replication status, and you can see it's initializing. So it's beginning to sync up, and then it'll be active once that's finished. Now we'll add our second SQL Server VM to the same consistency group. Again, we'll choose Protect. We'll add it to an existing consistency group since we've already created it. Again, we'll choose our London cluster. We'll allow it to automatically create that target virtual machine on our New York data center side. Again, we'll choose the storage, where to put it. And then we'll choose Finish once that looks good. Now you can see the status. We have our two virtual machines that are replicating over. Next, we're going to create a second consistency group for our web servers. We'll click on our web server here. And again, we'll choose Protect. We'll create a new consistency group. We'll call it Web Front End App. And then we'll choose the London cluster. We'll allow it to create the target automatically and choose one second for asynchronous replication. Again, we'll point it to our New York cluster. We'll select the data store to put that virtual machine on. and will automatically allow it to choose the journal locations. That's it. We'll click Next and Finish. Now we'll go over and look at the Recover Point Management area. So you can see some reporting here. And then we'll go over to our group sets and we'll group those two consistency groups together so we can perform failovers on them. And they also allow for parallel bookmarking between different consistency groups to keep those in sync. Again, you can see our two consistency groups that we're pulling. And we'll add both of them to the group set here. Next, we can actually run a test against that group. We'll click on the Test Copy button. We'll choose a consistency group. 
and then we can choose which image to access. So we can either do the latest or pick from the list that have been created. So you'll see here are the list of images and we'll pick one to do the test failover for. We'll select the isolated network and we'll enable access to that image. We'll click finish and now that test has been initialized and the image is writable. And now we'll go over to VMs and templates and we'll see in the list here that virtual machine that we initiated that test copy from is now running as a replica. So you see it's automatically named replica and we can now interact with that virtual machine. And the last thing we'll show here is how to initiate a failover of a virtual machine or an entire consistency group set. So we'll click on failover. Now we'll choose our consistency group or group set, so a group set in our case. And we'll choose which cluster to fail it over to, so the New York cluster. We can select which image, the latest, or again pick from that list. We'll restore it to an isolated network. And we'll also enable access so we can start using those virtual machines after it's been failed over. I'll show you the two consistency groups it's going to fail over, and we'll click finish. And that's a failover using a recover point for VM.